Okay, I don't know why it's so bright. I mean, I've closed all the... It's actually really dark in here. I don't know what's going on. Oh, that'll be fine. Okay. So, what my vet recommends is we do one-day pellets, which is all the pellets that I've shown you before. So, the pellet he recommends is the Vaporpar Nutra Blend. Uh, the coloured pellets, yes, everyone hates the coloured pellets, but they do like to pick the different colours. Um, I mean, I don't know. That's, that's, that's the healthiest, apparently. Um, and also, we do seed day. So we alternate between pellets one day, seeds the next. Pellets, seeds, pellets, seeds. So um, what I got <laughs> is the diet budgie seeds. Um, they don't have a lot of crazy sunflower seeds, sunflower seeds, or anything like that. They're just plain little diet budgie seeds. And that's what they get every other day. The reason is, is because I like to do training with them. So um, to socialize them with people and each other, um, get them more comfortable around each other, yada, yada. Um, I give them the sunflower seeds or sometimes safflower seeds as treats. So I've got my my little bucket of sunflower seeds. These are all I picked out of the last packet of seeds. So the other one was a mixed blend and I just picked them all out. Ugh, it took me forever. I keep, I keep everything in the freezer, keeps it as fresh as possible. Okay, so today is seed day and everyone keeps saying, well, you no, know, seed day, pellet day, yada yada. Um, so what is most important on seed days? Is there water? becomes vitamin water. You've probably seen some of my videos. My water looks green. Um, you probably think it's dirty water and probably freak out and hate me. But um, this, this vitamin powder, Salutive D, 12 essential vitamins and boosted vitamin D3. Ideal supplement, supplement for all birds. Slow down. Particularly when kept indoors. So they're not getting proper sunlight inside a house all the time. So yeah, I mean, a huge list of different vitamins. And um, so only on seed days do you give them the powder. Um, if you were to do it with pellets, it would be overdose of vitamins. So they'd get, what is it called? <laughs> Hyper, no, vitamin, to oh, gosh, you're gonna have to ask one of the other people. Um, but it's yeah, way too much vitamins. So I'll show you what the powder looks like. It's a little yellowish powder. It actually smells like those vitamin C tablets that you get, the chewables. Okay, so I've dissolved some in some warm water. That goes into that big dish there. As you can see, it kind of goes green. So I'll just stir that through a little bit. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Scamp, what's your name? What's your name? No, oh, that's not it. Okay. So they will all get a bowl each of this. Um, with the boys, Scamp and Ryder, they only ever had the glass bowl. Um, and now I've put a small dish in their bowl as well so that they can... Yeah, so I don't have to keep putting the big bowl in and out, in and out every time they... Want to go outside or inside it usually sits on top of their cage and i'm happy to leave it there so that's the water taken care of now seeds <laughs> so oh my god look at the mess it's all for birds nothing for me the entire fridge and freezer um that is all seeds pellets some frozen peas in the fridge it is all vegetables um there's some other pellets here i've got my soy milk um a few fruit uh, seed sticks some hemp seeds the rest is fruit and vegetables all birds um because i'm crazy okay so now i do the seeds now if i want to be really psycho about it i will measure it so they all get equal amounts but you know what hello um they all go into each other's cages and eat, and then someone misses out if they get locked up. But 
thing is, everyone goes into Sky's cage, she's in the middle. So that is, yeah, that is everyone's favorite place to eat. Sorry about that, that's my camera that I have here for the birds. Um, watches them when I'm either not home or not watching and if anything happens, like I said in the last video, I can see what went wrong. <clears throat> so I can measure about, I don't know, 10 grams per bird. Anyway, so yeah, about 10 grams. I mean, they don't really need a lot. It's like a spoonful, right? Almost a big spoonful. Um, yeah, plus they get training and also the veggie mix, vegetables, a little bit of fruit, maybe a nut here and there. Yeah, buddy. Hey, Scamp. What's up, mate? Little eye over there. Uh, Sita chased him over there. I'm just picking it up. Hang on a minute. Sita? I heard you, but where are you? Oh, I see you. Come on, Alan. Cool. Yeah. What a good boy. Oh, they look hungry. Okay, so that's just plain budgie seed mix. Um, shall I woo, do my usual rounds? Because um, it's ridiculous what I go through. I found out that even though I've got the four birds, three times, Oh, that's going to be annoying. I'm going to have to switch that camera on. Because it keeps sending me alerts whenever there's movement. Yeah, I have a small travel cage down on the ground. If the boys jump off, they can't fly back up. So they'll use that cage to get up. And there's also food and water for them in there if they can't do that. There's also Sky's place stand in the back. There's a bit of food and water up there if she is too scared to come back, if everyone's playing on her cage. There's also a travel cage in my bedroom. Um, in case one of them, I don't know, is being a bit crazy, I can take one in there. Give them a bit of one-on-one -on -one time and they can hang out on a cage in their food and water. So what I counted was 15 food and water dishes in total. I don't know what the hell I was thinking. I don't know. It's not necessary, but at this point, I would like to make sure I've got everything right. Because I've only had four birds for a couple of months. <laughs> Sita, I've had you for one year now. Sky, I've had for maybe six months, and the boys came in a few months ago. So this is all new to me, and I need to learn what the hell I'm doing. Once I know what's going on, I can remove, you know, bits and pieces here and there. But I want to give them as much stuff as possible. So I've got ladders everywhere, trees everywhere. Yeah. It'd be a lot easier if they could fly. Um, then I wouldn't need all these extra ladders. They can, I can even put trees on another side of the room and just fly there to get away from each other. But at the moment... <laughs> yeah. You know, there's only... There's maybe one bridge here and there. If someone's on a bridge and the other wants to get across, it's... You know... Oh, yeah. You're gonna get killed trying to cross the bridge, right? Uh, what can you do? What can you do? Hopefully they'll get along with each other, stay out of each other's way, stop fighting each other. For all I know, it could get... It could get a lot worse. They could probably end up hating each other even more. And, yeah, things could go nuts. So let's, let's just... Oh, man. Hands. Sorry. Hey. Are we up? Uh, I hate it when that happens. I don't like stopping the video. Um, I dropped my phone. So, oh. were you hungry? Were you waiting all morning? Were you waiting? You were? Okay. So as you can see, the water looks kind of green. Sky still doesn't seem too good to me. Oh, you don't. Who are you, Bubba? He's so grumpy. He's your mean little sister. Oh, he wants to come and say hello. He wants to come and say hello. Hi, Ski. 
Oh, she can. What are you doing? What are you doing? You're doing. He's a good boy. You are. It's so weird. Itsy bitsy spider climbed up the water spout. Down came the rain and washed the spider out. Out came the sun and dried up all the rain. So the itsy bitsy spider climbed up the spout again. Hi, Bobby Boo Boo. A bit jealous? You can all sing with me. It's okay. Okay. So everyone's got their food and whatnot. And I'll do some veggies later. I used to do vegetables chop first thing in the morning and I just don't like doing that. I'm not the most reliable person in the morning. Right. And if I go out or do something during the day, I'll give them a special treat or their veggie chop then. That way they've got something to do in their cages while I'm gone. Boom. All right, everyone. So that's the vitamin water. Yeah, why we use vitamin water, when we use vitamin water, when we use seeds and pellets. Um, and that's great for if you work. So if you go out um, to work every day, oh my goodness, if you go to work every day or school or whatever it is, um, it's good to alternate like that. They get the vitamins from the pellets, but it's also a different type of vitamin um, in the vitamin water. And some people say, you know, they there's always a conflict between pellets and seeds. Some say totally feed your birds a seed diet. The other say totally feed your birds a pellet diet. Some say pellets are too vitamin-y. I don't know, whatever. Um, so yeah, so they get the best of, both, best of both worlds. And it also keeps them excited because, you know, um, when it's seed day, they'll get excited and be like, yay, seeds all day, sweet. And it's not boring. And then they do like the pellets. They do crave the pellet day as well. So it makes it, yeah. That's so funny. It's so funny. Look at this place. What the heck am I going to do? Oh, uh, it's too much. It's too much. I'm in over my head. I have no idea what I'm doing. No idea. Yeah. <laughs> but we'll all work out, work it out together. If you have any advice for me, please let me know. I, um, any tips, anything you see I may be doing wrong, anything I can improve on. I love criticism. It makes everything, <laughs> makes me a better birdie owner. And um, yeah, ask me anything you want. Thank you guys. We'll see you next time.